Today we're doing catch and cook tench fish tacos. So we've got the tacos here, a bit of cheese. We've got a bit of red wine, vinegar, it's the fish, some sriracha, uh, what's this, sour cream, lettuce. This is gonna be beautiful. I've got myself set up here for a few hours. I've got the awning out. That's the first time I've used it uh, since putting it on. Uh, I'm gonna kick back here for a couple of hours. I might get the rods in later. I'm not gonna do that now because I don't wanna be managing eels or anything that I might catch while I'm cooking. Uh, so I'll get all this gear ready to go and we'll be back. Today is catch and cook tench. I caught this tench this morning down on the Moobool River, just out the back of Meredith. I've hooked up to something here. I'm gonna put the phone there, we'll see if we can catch it. I don't know what it is. It might be a tench, it might be a trout. I've just, I've had it tangled. I'll try and get a video of it. It's hard to get all this with your phone. He's pulling, I don't know what it is. It might be, it's definitely foul hooked. And he's pulling drag, I don't know how big it is. I think it was a tench. I've got a bit of a visual before. I think it might be a tench. I think it's a tench. Looks like a tench. Yeah, it's a tench. See that thing swimming around? It's a tench. You know, let's get it in. It's a tench there. Definitely a tench. This is a species of carp. It's completely edible. The thing is full of bones and it needs a bit of work done to it before you can start eating Basically, it. Basically, you're filleting it the same way that you would fillet a red fin or any other fish. You cut down through here and you cut down along the spine and you take that fillet off. I'm going to get that prepared. If you want to check it out, I've got a video on how to fillet a red fin. It's the exact same setup. That's been filleted. I'll just give these a wash down in some cold water and we will get right into it. So this being a species of carp, it's full of bones. It's got the same skeleton as a carp. So if you look at this fillet here, we'll just look at that one first. You've got this thick section of meat here. You've got the lateral line, and then you've got that thin section right there. There's no bones in that bit, but there's bones in this bit, and they're shaped like a Y. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll get these cooked up, and we'll show you how to pull the bones out, and then what you do with it. So get them cleaned up now, get them out of the sun, or get everything else ready. This is what we're running with. We've got salt, pepper, and Italian herbs, and garlic, that's for the fish. And then we're gonna have, for the salad, a bit of lettuce, some spring onions, sour cream, and sriracha for the sauce. And a bit of, bit of cheese, smoky chipotle cheese. Let's get some spring onions ready. We only put a couple of these in, three will do. We'll take the rest home, and I can have that at home later on for something else. Cut these bits off, get rid of them, about there. You can probably go further, I don't know. That'll do. Hey? Okay. okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And just run the knife through it. Go. Cut up nice. Okay. That'll do. That can go in that one there. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing with the sauce because I've never made a fish taco sauce before. So, I know you use sriracha and sour cream. So, let's get rid of that. I'm not sure on the measurement, so I'm just going to have a crack and we'll see how it goes. That much, maybe a bit more. So I've made about that much. Open it up. That much. And maybe put some more sour cream in there. So it looks like that. Let's give it a stir up. I'll have a crack at this, because if it's too hot, I'll just put more sour cream in it. Oh geez, it looks good. Woo! It looks awesome. It looks. Amazing. This is the first time I've ever made anything like this, so let's give it a go, see how hot it is. More sriracha, I think. Oh yeah, that's way better. We're out here again today. There's flies. We're just about ready to throw this fish on. So I've got the pan there. All we're going to do is put a little bit of oil in it. Just a little bit, not too much. A little bit more. That'll do. We'll get a close up of that. We're going to throw the fish straight in. Salt, pepper, garlic, and the Italian herbs all straight in. We're going to cook both fillets at the same time. Turn that one off. Just use the one. Let's get that burner going. So I'm going to throw the garlic in now. That garlic's in there. All right. That pan's getting nice and hot now. Let's get the fish in. So I don't do anything with this. I put it straight on. So it's been filtered straight away. And the fish just goes straight on. So we'll put that piece straight on. We'll just do one for now, actually. Okay, straight up. Bit of pepper. 
bit of salt, get those Italian herbs on. I'm only going to cook up the one fillet, because that's that's quite a big fillet. I'm only going to have two fish tacos. Oh, we'll see what happens when it's cooked, and maybe I might need to cook another one. This fish doesn't need long on the pan. It's on a nice hot pan. See how, see how it starts to curl up? It starts to curl up on the edges. That's what Kent does. So we'll leave that for like another 30 seconds, if that, and we'll turn it over. Yeah, tench, tench doesn't take long to cook at all. It's starting to look really nice. Just to curl over, this tench sort of buckles up on itself. Nearly ready. That's the fish ready. Now we get the bones out. This is how you do it. All you do is you just scrape the meat away. So that little piece there is full of bones. See all those, see all those bones in there? That bit's gonna go, so we'll just throw that there. This bit's all, all okay. Okay, some bones there, we'll push that aside. There's another bone there. And just keep breaking it apart. Just keep chipping away, and the bones will heal themselves. All right, so that's all pulled apart. And that's really what you end up with. You end up with just like a, a bowl of bits and pieces of meat. So this is perfect to put in fish taco. Yeah, that's not too bad. That'll get me two wraps. That's perfect. I'm going to get that back on the heat again and heat that right up. And then we'll have some, uh, we'll get the wraps out and we'll get ready to go. That's what you end up with. That's not a bad bit of meat there. Close that up. Undo it and get it out of the way. A look at this. Beautiful. And here's the meat. Spring onion. Lettuce, there's the uh, fish taco sauce I made. Um, there's some lettuce and some red wine soy, and there's the fish. There it is there. Let's get this ready. Yeah, I'll get two out of this easy. On it, just a little bit of vinegar there. Beautiful. That fish taco, fantastic. I cannot wait to get into this. <laughs> it came up way better than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes. We'll get that covered up. We'll get the flies off it. <laughs> yeah! Well, that's it, gang. That was catch and cook tench. Absolutely beautiful. That sauce was something else. I've never had a sauce like that before, I don't think. I've definitely never cooked one. Um, red wine vinegar was amazing in it as well. The Italian herbs, it's a European fish, so I tend to use European herbs for it. I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up again. That was catch and cook tench. See you next weekend.